Hello, Sander Natics. My name is Sanders, and I present you the 1 to 144 non grade Gundam Maxer from the anime series Gundam G. This Gundam plastic model, also known as Gunpla, was manufactured by Bondi Hobby to represent the Gundam Maxer from the anime series Gundam G. The Gundam Maxer was a mobile suit piloted by the Baxter named Shibudi Crockett. Representing the Neo America, this Gundam also participated on the tournament they called Gundam Fight, which is held every four years on planet Earth, where the winning Gundam and the space colony that it represents will rule Earth until the next Gundam Fight. This is how the future century resolved their conflict instead of having a war. The parts of this Gunpuck kit was pretty basic, but what I really like about this kit is having a core lander attached to its back. It adds a great play value for kids. Simple, yet so effective. The color separation was okay, but you need to paint the model for accuracy. I used Gundam markers just to bring out the anime look of it. The numb marks are minimum and not that obvious. However, as the Bandai Hobby suggests, a proper sanding and painting will be better rather than to snap and build it immediately. The aesthetic of this kit was not that good. I understand that they need to match the price point. So this model kit, front chest armor, cannot be removed to rebuild the powerful interior and it doesn't have the surfboard, which is this Gundam used in anime. Look at the face of this thing! The number one issue of the 144 No Grade Gundam G series was the front and side skirt always pop off. The good thing about the Gundam Maxer, it doesn't have any side skirts and front skirt are attached to its crotch. However, the Gundam Maxer knuckles keeps popping off and the core lantern, which is attached on its back, are also loose. Head is on ball joint. Shoulder can bend to side and rotate 360 degrees. Legs are on ball joints but restricted and cannot split. Bend at the knees and both feet are on ball joints. This kit includes one full transformed gigantic mat. Transformation was basic. Just pop off the both knuckles and reattach it vertically. For the next transformation, you need to remove the armor mounted on its master shoulder and place it over the hands as a powerful boxing gloves. However, the two folded gigantic magnum attached on its hips are totally useless. And the kit only provide one unfolded version of it. So it means that the one gigantic magnum will always be folded on its hips. The plastic is durable, however, the car lander on its back still have the same issues. The suggested price of this kit was 500 yen according to the box. Here are the comparison to my other figure. Let the mini figures they Leia. Thank you, Knight, for Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Karate Kicking Jason. Jolly Bee is Jolly Bee Kara, okay? And the 1 to 1 for the 4 Shining Gundam from Anime Series Gundam. Overall, I will give this toy this kind of reaction. This kit was one of the classic toys that will always put a special place in my heart. They are not great, but the nostalgia gave the reason to still collect them even a new Gunpla models are out there. This is my personal review, my own point of view, and see you next time for more!